He's doing very well. From the day he got out, or the day after he was released on bail, mm -hmm. we bought him a bike. Mm -hmm. And when I call home from time to time, mm -hmm. invariably asking about Omar, invariably my wife says, I can't get him off the bike. <laughs> and I was there when we first bought the bike, mm -hmm. and I have the image of my wife holding on to the seat of the, of the bike as he's trying to balance himself to, to refresh his memory of of cycling, mm -hmm. and then I, I have the image of him taken off, mm -hmm. and it reminded me for the first time in many, many years what a bike symbolizes to a young kid, and to my children. It was freedom, mm -hmm. and so it was such a, it was such a, a symbolic mm -hmm. that imagery of watching him cycle off. Okay. So he's doing fine. Mm -hmm. To answer that, but I, I, I have to tell you that in the many long years that I have been involved in this case, mm -hmm. there are times where I've questioned the nature of Canadians. Mm -hmm. Is it was it, uh, is it or is it still that mosaic that I was so proud of, a pluralistic society mm -hmm. where we enjoyed people of different cultures and views? Mm -hmm. and, si and so I wasn't clear on that anymore. But since his release, I've received thousands of emails, as far away as Europe, but mainly from Canada, mm -hmm. with people saying two things. One was, thank you, mm -hmm. and the other saying, we feel better mm -hmm. as Canadians that he's out. Mm -hmm. And my own town of Edmonton, he gets stopped by people mm -hmm. who are non-intrusive, what they do is they say, you're Omar, mm -hmm. and then they say, I wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. In fact, I recall this particular individual mm -hmm. who was a big, rough-looking guy. He was walking past Omar and I while I was in the home hardware store, and as he went by, he gave me a sort of funny look, and, I, and then he turned around, and I thought, uh-oh, this is, what's this going to be like? Mm -hmm. And he walked up to Omar, stuck, stuck his finger, and he said, you know, I don't like Americans. I don't like what you did, what they did to you, and you deserve the very best. And took off. Uh, so overwhelmingly, Omar has been greeted mm -hmm. by the kind of Canadian compassion mm -hmm. that I used to believe in. That's a very difficult question to answer in a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're in real trouble. I'm often talking about the apathy of society, of Canadian society. Mm -hmm. And apathy is a disease. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that apathy because I believe when future generations look back, Omar Khadr's case will be a seminal case. Mm -hmm. and, and we will have to explain, our children have to explain, why we allowed a child to be abused so badly. Mm -hmm. um, but but we've had a also had a government who has lied consistently about Omar Khadr. Consistently they have talked about him being a, a terrorist who committed a heinous crime mm -hmm. without the slightest um, background mm -hmm. of why he pled guilty mm -hmm. or the fact he had a trial that had no witnesses allowed, mm -hmm. that tortured evidence was let in, mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. And now I see, I see our country far more divisive and I've ever seen in the 29 years I've been here. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. If I was a Muslim, I'd be very scared. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, doing, we're doing the same politics of fear that Hitler used against the Jews, that Bush used in, on the war on terror. We are um, paying for our apathy. And if this, if our government, the Harper government, is re-elected, mm -hmm. it's, it's, um, I fear for our children. Okay. I think it's significant on many levels. Mm -hmm. I think it's important that he sees his family. He hasn't seen his grandparents, mm -hmm. and that gives him, a, a, allows him to, a solidness about 
where he belongs. Um, he'll be, he will be looking at the meeting them. When he last saw them, he was 12 years of age. And now he's 29. And the man of 29 will be trying to figure out things. Mm -hmm. All in all, it's a wonderful move for him. It's a wonderful opportunity.